The Goan Tribal Association has filed a public interest petition in the High Court of Bombay Goa bench citing various violations of laws and regulation in ongoing mining transportation. In its petition, they have highlighted the plight of the poor tribal villages living in mining affected villages like Kaure of South Goa. The petition has made Chief Secretary direct Chief Secretary, Director of Mines and Geology, Goa Pollution Control Board, District Collector South Goa, SP South as parties along with two mining companies that are presently handling mining transportation in Kaurang area. During the lockdown when mining started, people suspected about the legality of all transported but no one questioned as people wanted truck operators to earn some money for survival during lockdown period. But if you look at the present situation on the road, it looks like there is some strategy in in place by some politician to sell whole of Goa's iron ore deposit during the lockdown period. As a definite plan is on the cards to sell Goa mining resources at breakneck speed during the lockdown period throwing all COVID-19 restrictions in the state to the winds. The ore transported from various parts of the state for its onward export is one which was extracted prior to March 2018 as Supreme Court has banned mining and put a ban on renewing any lease agreement in the state. The decision which was recently overturned by the central government. On January 30, 2020, the Supreme Court allowed mining firms to transport iron ore that was validly mined from mines in Goa on the condition that they had paid royalty to the government authorities. They have given This has given a push to the economy in the mining belt which has come to a st standstill after the Supreme Court order. However, in a bid to finish transportation within six months as per the Apex Court Directive, Deadline which ends on June 30, the mining companies and transporters seem to be violating the law and throwing all regulation to the wind. The unchecked violations have been threatening their lives and locals in parts of Saundia and Kuchure and Kapi areas who have opposed the movement of truck but the police have fallen on their fears. Instead of extending lease period and giving benefit to only select people, who have benefited from Portuguese regime go for fresh auction of mining lease immediately to start mining. This will definitely benefit all the stakeholders of Goa, tweeted Sanjay Desai, principal of Kunkoli Educational Society College. Sanjay feels the pulse of the people living in the mining affected areas of Goa as he was born and brought up in the mining areas. He feels for the everyday suffering of the people living in the area. The turmoil of the common man on account of mining is not a recent story but has been going for decades. Here are a few Sanjay Desai's mining related tweets. Happy to know that the Goa government has permitted to export 4,500 crore worth of iron crore to revive Goan economy. I just wanted to know how much direct revenue Goa government will get from the 4,005 crore sale. Experts, please guide. Figure of 4,500 crore is arrived as follows. Total ore to be exported is 75,000 ton. Present rate of iron ore per ton is 80 per ton. And exchange rate is 75 per dollar. So 6,000 per ton has come to 4,500 crores. From where are they getting the valuation of 80 ton per dollar rate? International market metal prices are at all time low. Even a giant like Vedanta is reeling and is borrowing a double digit interest from the market. Wrote Another one, another reader in response to Sanjay's tweet. People who have been illegally committed illegal mining cannot 
manage our family goal. Clearly, anyone found to have committed illegal mining should not have been allowed to manage our family goal. Our Supreme Court found the entire coal mining industry was mining illegally for nearly five years. Only auction or mining to a government company can achieve zero loss. But a deeper question is, why are we selling our family goal, calling the sales proceed revenue and spending it? This is fundamentally immoral. The capital must be saved in a future generation fund and the fund income distributed as zone a dividend to all, says Rahul Basu of Goa Foundation. The Supreme Court in January this year had permitted 9.5 million tons ore lying at jetties and plots which had to be transported within six months. The South Goa collector has issued a standard operation procedure according to which only 25 to 30 trucks could ply per hour from the mines. However, the reality seems to be something different. Locals said that unregulatory transportation choked the road in the morning up to 1 p.m. and causes heavy dust pollution besides the accident which have rendered the roads unusable for locals. Locals also lament, lament that there is allegedly no monitoring from the government department, director of mines and geology on the number of trucks which ply from the mining pits to the transportation. Local question how the 450 trucks have been able to get 900 drivers during the lockdown.